campus of UCSC, with its combination of wooded gullies and temperate coastal climate, is the natural setting in which to find many a wild creature. This one's the most yellow, though. Areolemix delicophallus, the local species of banana slug from the Monterey Bay region, is a year-round resident of UCSC's nature-friendly campus. Most of the wooded areas on campus are suitable locations to see one of these slugs. If you want to have a better chance of finding some, though, you have to find a trail and hike down into one of the many ravines that run throughout the campus. These areas are the prime environment for banana slugs. They offer shade and a damp atmosphere, both things these animals need. The streams that often come with such ravines help keep the vegetation lush and thus maintain a food supply for many of its inhabitants. During the summer months, banana slugs are less active. They are content to pass much of the time curled up under a log or lying dormant in a hole in the ground. And when the winter rains and cooler temperatures return, these animals are more than happy to be in pursuing their daily activities. If you see a banana slug crawling the forest floor, more than likely it is engaged in an almost continual search for food. All manner of green plants, they'll eat all kinds of fungus, tree bark, animal feces. They'll eat a dead banana slug if they find one. They are decomposers, and as such, will pursue most organic matter they encounter as a possible meal. These flies have quickly responded to a dead mouse. Their larvae will feed on it, along with a host of bacteria and other organisms. A slug may well happen on these remains later down the line, and be more than happy to contribute to the decomposition process. This slug here has found a dead arboreal salamander, and has proceeded to eat away at the amphibian's skin. A more common item in this might be, a, say, a mushroom. These are banana slug's favorite. The west coast, with its damp winters and spring months, is home to an array of fungi species. Many types of mushrooms and lichens can be found growing out of the decomposing plant matter that litters the forest floor. Other fungus, like this bracket fungus, grow on the sides of logs or trees. These ones are called conchs. The only living part of this fungus is its white underside. The common name for this bracket fungus is turkey tail for both its color and its fan-like shape. Banana slugs lack the conventional teeth or jaw structures that we would be familiar with. Their own oral anatomy consists of several components. To eat a newly emerged mushroom, a slug will open its mouth and a sort of plate made of cartilage will extend to bite off a piece of it. This part is called the odontophore, and inside of it is the slug's tongue, which is called the radula. The radula lines the inside of the odontophore, and is covered in thousands of tiny, backwards-facing teeth. These teeth grind up the leaf, or mushroom, which then passes down the esophagus. This individual here offered both an exceptional view of its mouth, as well as one of its pneumostome, which is also a common name for its breathing hole. Inside the pneumostone is the animal's lung. The slugs can open and close the pneumostome in order to regulate their own personal oxygen intake. Now let's finish up eating. 